We have hundreds of beautiful parks in Canada. To ensure that visitors enjoy to the maximum, there is a yearly maintenance going on. During the maintenance, some parks remain open, some are closed, while others are only available during weekends. Before visiting any park, it's good to know at a glance whether it's open or closed and how much percent of the maintenance is completed. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I show you how to convert plain data about these parts into a beautiful dynamic part chart that is conditionally formatted to reflect the status and the percentage of maintenance completion. You can apply this concept to many work situations and incorporate a conditionally formatted bar chart into your dashboards. So let's see how I do that in Excel. Here is my start file. You can download the exercise file and follow along by clicking on the link below this video. In this worksheet I have in column A a short list of some of the parks available in Canada. In column B I have the status of each park and its availability, whether it's open, closed, or only available on weekends. In column C, I have the percentage of maintenance completed, and I would like to represent this data on a bar chart. And here is my finished project. In the challenge worksheet, I represented this data on a bar chart. So the length of the bar reflects the percentage of completion and I have a data label as well that matches the color of the bar because the bar itself is conditionally formatted in a way that if the park is open, the bar appears in green, if it's closed, it appears red, and if it's only available on weekends, then it appears in orange. We want to build this solution from ground up. So I go back to the chart worksheet and I start by creating some labels in row number three. So I'll be typing open, closed, weekends. I will use these labels later on as a custom legend. So I want to change the fill color of D3, I'll make it green. I change the fill color of E3, I make it red. And for F3, I'll make it orange. And I'll change the font color for all of them and make it white. Now I want to create three helper columns in preparation for creating my bar chart. And for each one of the helper column, it will look at column B. If it's open, it will copy the percentage of maintenance to column D. If it's closed, it will copy the corresponding percentage of maintenance to column E. And if it's open on weekends, then it will copy the percentage of maintenance to column F. Then I'll be creating a very simple if function. To create the function in one step, I select the whole range up front and I start from the perspective of the active cell which is different in color. I start by creating my if function, equal if, and then I hit tab. I select cell B4 and I want to lock it to the column by hitting F4 three times, one, two, three. And then I say, if it is equal to my label in row number three, and I lock it to the row because I intend to copy down, then I hit F4 twice. I type a comma, and what do you want to do if this logical test returns it true? What's the value if true? The value if true is to copy the percentage of maintenance from column C, and I lock the column letter by hitting F4 three times. And then I type a comma, what's the value if false? If it is false, then in this case, I want to return not available. I close the bracket and to populate this function, I hit Control Enter. I intend to position my bar chart on top of this range. So I don't want these numbers to appear, then I'm going to change the color into white. And now I'm ready to create my chart. I select the list of park names available in column A. I press Ctrl and select the range where I created my function. I go to the Insert tab of the ribbon. I click on the down arrow for Insert Column or Bar Chart, and I select a 2D Clustered Bar Chart. The bar chart is inserted 
and I want to start improving the appearance of this bar chart. I can resize the bar to see all the parks. The first thing I noticed is that the order of the parks doesn't match what I have in column A, and I want them to be similar. Then I'm going to hit the golden shortcut of Excel, which is Control-1, to open the format axis pane, where I'll be checking this box categories in reverse order, and when I check it, I get the same exact order. I can close it for now, and then I go to the green plus sign in the upper right corner of my chart. We call it the chart element button. I click on it, and I'm going to hide most of the elements of this chart. I uncheck access. I uncheck chart title. I don't want the grid lines. I don't want the legend. I created my own custom legend. With the chart selected, I click on one of the series and I want to reopen the format chart series pane using the same golden shortcut control one. And here I want to drag the gap width slider to the far left and I drag the series overlap to the far right. After doing this, I want to change the color and the outline of each one of the bars. And because the blue series is selected, which corresponds to the open series, I want to match the color of the legend. Then I click on the fill and line icon to open it. I expand the fill and I want a solid color and I'll make it green. For the border, I want a white border. Then I select solid line and I make it white. I select the next color, which is currently orange. It corresponds to closed. Then I want to change the color to red. I select solid fill. I make it red, and then for the border, I'll make it white. And finally, I select the third color, which corresponds to weekends. I'm going to change it to orange with a white border. I click on the outer border of my chart. That's called the chart area. And for the chart area, I don't want a fill color. I want it transparent, and I don't want an outline. I do that on the Format tab of the ribbon. I click on the down arrow for Shape Fill. I select no fill, I click on the down arrow for shape outline, and I select no outline. I then click on the last icon in the format chart area pane. This is called size and property. I want to change a property that prevents changing the size of the chart if I resize the columns. Then I expand properties, and I select don't move or size with cells. I can close the format chart area pane. And now I want to add some data labels. I click on the chart one more time. I click on the outer border to reveal the chart elements button. I click on the chart elements. And from here, I check the box for data labels. I want to format the data labels to match the color of the bar and the custom legend I created. So I start by selecting a number corresponding to the green column. All the numbers corresponding to this series are selected. On the Home tab of the ribbon, I bump it up to 11. I make it bold and I change it to green. I select one of the numbers corresponding to the red series. I make it 11 bold and red. And then I select one of the numbers corresponding to orange, the weekends. I make it 11 bold and orange. I finished creating my chart. I want to position it and resize it. So I drag it from the outer border. I position it, aligning it to the labels above. And I want to resize it by reducing the height in a way that it matches the height of my data. And now I want to test. So if I select B7 corresponding to Sunnybrook Park, what if the park is closed? Keep an eye on the color of the bar. If I change it to closed, then it becomes red. If I change it to weekends, then it becomes orange. I'll bring back the same color open. What if I change the percentage of completion and I make it, let's say, 72? Automatically, when I hit enter, the length of the bar reflects the change in the percentage. Should you wish, you can hide columns B and C. So I select them right click and hide and now i have to move my chart to align with the park name in column a i showed you in this tutorial 
how to create a beautiful dynamic bar chart that is conditionally formatted. I encourage you to apply this concept to your charts in your dashboards. If you enjoyed this training video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.